Hi, right, everyone. Welcome to Me Vision Academy Award presentation to Dr. Augusta Dorning. She was nominated by Dr. Shirley Zinn, and she's been a well-known leader in the health industry, um, which includes in the past managing partner at LenMed Africa, managing partner Extraordinary Hospitals of Africa. Now she's in her own business consulting and 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 uh, and working with some partners. So it's wonderful to have you with us today, Augusta. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here, Adrian. Thank you so much. And of course, to dear Dr. Shirley Zinn for the nomination. I am really, really honored to be here. Thank you. And and so are we, absolutely. So I'm going to quickly get the formalities out of the way and hand you the award, after which I'll ask you the question about successful leadership. So let me quickly go here. There we go. An exclusive recognition of successful leadership awarded to Dr. Augusta Dorning for consistently leading self and others successfully, and in particular, successfully leading as a senior leader in the healthcare industry, including managing partner of LenMed Africa, as mentioned, and also Extraordinary Hospitals of Africa and other places, but also positively impacting society through various initiatives in education and beyond. So it's not just health necessarily, but your passions in other areas. But what's close to our heart is your commitment to mentoring and inspiring future successful leaders. And it's always an honor for me to sign on behalf of Me Vision Academy as we go on this global search for successful leaders. So congratulations. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate the award so much. And I hope that it serves as an inspiration to others to also mentor our, our future leaders. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Adrian. Augusta, so yes, in absolute essence, what have you learned about successful leaders, leadership yourself and maybe um, uh, watching others around you? I've learned, so leadership has always fascinated me, Adrian, because a lot of people think that they aren't leaders. But in my experience, even as a, as a small child, I looked up to the people around me and even though they may not have considered, considered themselves leaders, I certainly did. Every single person working, walking this earth is a role model. And I believe that it is our innate responsibility to be as such for everybody. Because if it's not within your family where your children or your nieces or nephews or your grandchildren are looking up to you, somebody who is in your aura is looking up to you and appreciating what you're doing, but they are also learning from you. So every action, every omission is an opportunity or a missed opportunity for somebody to aspire to be a better version of themselves. And once you realize that you hold that responsibility as a human being on earth, then the value that you can create and the influence that you can develop and expand is exponential. Yeah, I imagine if every one of us could realize that we're influencing other leaders who influence other leaders, and perhaps we're all leaders in our own right. That's what I hear you say. Absolutely. Um, you know, I've been astounded over the 40 years that I've been in healthcare when people have approached me and said, we really enjoyed what you said at that meeting. We really enjoyed what you said at that graduation. We really enjoyed the way that you related with somebody. We could relate with you. Being relatable is also a key component of leadership, Arjun, and it's something that I am still working towards because we are not always, always relatable. But I think there's nothing more special than seeing somebody who is still a junior member of staff coming up to a leader and saying, I loved what you said. I can really, really relate to what you said. I'm proud to be a member of your organization. I'm proud to be associated with the values and the ethics of this organization. Now, suddenly that word relate hits me hard as you mentioned it. I guess when a leader says things that relate, it means they're in touch. It means that they are uh, connecting. It means that they understand. It means so many things if, if others can relate. So thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Adriana, I'm so grateful for the opportunity of answering that question. 
I started my leadership journey at the age of 22, and I must share with you that I carried the weight of the world on my shoulders. I've always loved people, and I've loved mining the diamonds that are people. And yet I always felt fully responsible for everything. I knew I was accountable, and I was grateful for the trust that had been placed in me in respect of that accountability. But looking back on these, on these 40 years, had I had more conversations and listened more to all the members of my team, and I really mean all the members of those teams, that huge burden would have been shared and we would all have been the richer for the experience of the collective wisdom. As a young leader, you always feel that you need to show up and know everything, when in actual fact, the converse is true. So in my experience as a young leader, I felt so much responsibility and I actually never showed any vulnerability. And as we all know, the whole is always only as powerful as the sum of the parts. When we recruit people to our teams, we recruit only the best. But often, once we have recruited somebody that we considered so special, we limit their value. By fully acknowledging the unique and remarkable value that each and every person brings to a team, we ourselves grow stronger along with the exponential growth of the entire team. I wish I had taken that on and that that had been central to my drive as a young leader, because in my mature years, I just know and I celebrate and relish in the knowledge of everybody, not just my own. Thanks, Adrian.